Hey guys, so in this video, I want to create the greedy algorithm using the C program to make the least amount of change. I did a video on this before, but this time I want to make it a little bit more efficient. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to write a description here of the program that we're about to write. And it's going to say this program um, gives the least amount of USD coins for a given amount. And I'm going to put uh, efficiently because this hopefully this program is a little bit more efficient. And then let's put a little note. The USD coin set is uh, 50, we actually have 100 as well. We have 100, uh, 50, 25, 10, 5, and 1. So this, these are the quarters, the dimes, the nickel, and the penny. And that's actually all I want to use. I don't want to use these other two. They're not too common. So we're just going to use these four coins for our coin set. Now let's include some libraries. Standard input output dot h. That's probably all that's needed. Let's go ahead and create our main function. And I'm going to put in system pause because I am using a Windows operating system right now. So if you're not using the Windows operating system, you can comment this out or you can just completely delete that line of code. So what we're going to start off with, we're going to start off with an uh, amount. So this would be the amount of change that we want to get back. So I'll say something like 85 cents. So what's the least amount of coins we can get back for 85 cents is the question. We're going to create our uh, coin set. And I'm going to make it an array of size 1, let's see, 1, 2, 3, we're going to need 4. So I'm going to make it size 4. And it's going to be equal to uh, 25, 10, 5, and 1. Okay, and I'm going to create a uh, a variable, we'll call it number, for the greedy calculations. Alright, so now let's go ahead and create our greedy algorithm for making the uh, least amount of change or not making, we'll say, instead of making, printing. Alrighty. So, since I'm just going to print in this function, I'm going to make it void and call it greedy. And it's going to take in an integer amount. And all it's going to do is tell us how many of each coins we'll need, the least amount of each coins we'll need for the given amount. So now to find that up there, let's go ahead and and uh, actually do something inside this function. So um, something here that I already kind of see a problem with is this number four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a. Uh, Uh, let's see, I will create a global variable and I call it length or len and it's going to equal four. So this is uh, the length of our array or coin set. 
Alrighty. So now I can change this four out here for Lin. Okay. So now in here I want to create an integer called i for the index of our coin set. And what we're going to do is we're going to say while um, while i is less than lin, we're going to do all the stuff in here. Now right now there's a problem. We didn't assign the value for i. So I'm going to say i equal to 0. So this is going to run um, the length of the array times. All right. And I have my number variable here, but I actually will need it in the greedy algorithm. All righty. So let's see. Now we're going to go through all of the lists. And what we want to do is put a little if statement. So if our, wow, I will actually need to put the coin set as well inside of our greedy algorithm. So um, if our coin set at position i, which would be um, position 0, which in this case would be the quarter, which has the value 25. So if that, if that value or if that coin is, or the amount of the coin is less than the amount that we are uh, putting in and this is the same amount that we will put in here and I mean from here into the greedy algorithm if it's less than or equal to that amount then our number is going to equal the amount divided by that coin so that coin at that position so right now our amount is uh, or would will be 85. So then number equals 85 divided by 25, which goes in there I think three times, which tells us that we're only going to use three of the quarters or that value 25. So we're going to use that three times. That's where the number variable comes in. So now what we're going to do? We're going to do a print statement and I am going to say um, you need our, let's see, we're going to print uh, the number, so percent D, and, or I don't know how I want to write this print statement, maybe uh, uh, the number of coins that they need, and we're going to have to print the value of that coin so so 3 of 25 is needed and I put a backslash in for the next line so now we can put in number and I can put in the coin amount so now here I'll say 3 of 25 is needed. Perfect. Then our i value needs to increase once it's done. So I'm going to increment i by 1 by using i. And then it'll go to the next value, which is 10. So there's something else I need to do here. Now, what I need to do is I need to take that amount that we have. And it needs to equal the amount minus um, minus the number times uh, times the coin at that position. So in this case, it will be uh, since we're still in the quarter or the twenty-five cents. The amount is 85, so it's 85 minus the number, which will be 3, times the coin at position i, which is 25, so that's 75. So it's 85 minus 75, so that gives us 10. So amount now equals 10. 
So now we're going to uh, increment i. So i is going to go to the next value, which is 10. And it's going to say uh, if coin set i is, and that's the value 10, is less than or equal to 10, which is the amount, 10 is also the amount right now, then the number is going to equal 10 divided by 10, which is 1. So then it's going to say 1 of 10 since it's needed. And then the amount is going to be uh, 1. I mean, sorry, it will be 10 minus 10, which is 0. And then we're going to increment this here. And it's going to go back and we're going to be at 5. Uh, is 5 less than or equal to 0? No. So then we're going to increment again. And, and then we're going to go to the 1. Is 1 less than or equal to uh, 0? And the answer is no. So then we're done. So let's go ahead and give this a whirl, see if this actually works. So I'm going to get the function here. We're going to input our amount. Hopefully I don't have any errors. Let's see. Save it as a dot C program. I call it greedy2 or greedy efficient. Okay, so let's see. I have some problems here. Variable sized object. Um, let's see if it likes this instead. It doesn't. Uh, let's see. Variable size object may not be initialized. Coin undeclared. Ah. Okay. So we didn't call it coin, we called it coin set. Okay, now let's run it. Okay, so now let's see variable sized object may not be initialized. Okay. Variable sized. Well, let's try uh, let's try size five. Okay. So uh, it gives us exactly what we want it. We want it 3 of 25 is needed and 1 of 10 is needed. So we would give the user 3 quarters and we give the users um, 1 dime. So I'm going to clean this up just a little bit. And I'm going to put uh, here another if statement. Or actually a few. If coin set at position i equals equals 25 then we're going to print uh, percent d percent d quarters instead of values actually we'll just put here quarters and then I put the value inside the parentheses um, is needed and I'm just going to copy this here if coin set is 10 and I'll say dimes and then if the coin set is five, I'm gonna put nickels. And then if the coin set is one, I'll put pennies. And now let's give this a run. So three 
of quarters 25 is needed. Okay, so I have to get rid of this of. Okay, and let's give it a run again. Three quarters, 25 is needed. One dimes, I misspelled dimes. I have two S's. All right, and now what I want to do is a print statement here. Or actually, we can do that in the function as well. Uh, we can do it before we uh, do anything else. We can do a print statement. And we can say the least amount of change needed for the amount and then we're going to put the amount here is below and then we'll put in the amount so hopefully it just makes it look a little bit better so the least amount of change needed for the amount 85 is below three quarters one dimes and I'm actually going to get rid of this is needed part as well. Let's run it again. The least amount of change needed for the amount 85 is below. Three quarters, one dimes. Alrighty. And let's change the amount up just to just to kind of see if this is working properly. So if we have 99 cents, the least amount of change would be three quarters, two dimes, which would be 75, 95, and then four pennies. So that's 99 cents. So that works perfectly. So thanks guys. I hope this video was helpful and I will put this up on my GitHub and put a link for it below so you can easily download it. Uh, please subscribe. Please leave likes. Um, please become a supporter on Patreon. And thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.